While the Needham girls basketball team may have been able to sneak up on teams early in the year, that certainly is less likely as they get into the latter part of their schedule. However, that has not stopped the Rockets from piling up victories. Back on December the 21st, the girls beat Natick on their own court, 46-43. Heading into their second contest of the season last Friday, the Needham Rockets had won five of the last six games overall. A season sweep of the Red Hawks would be a big boost to their tournament resume. So, let's go to the A-Gym on February the 9th. First quarter, Rockets moving the ball well. Mariana Jansen, Akira McIntyre, to Mae Barker in the corner. Three-pointer puts Needham on top. Barker scoring seven of her team high, 17 points in the first quarter. Both teams trading leads. McIntyre kicks it out to Caroline Clem. The Frosh makes it rain with a three in the bucket. 12-11 Rockets. On the defensive end, Mia Grunberg goes up, but Clem says, you shall not pass. Clem gets it to Jansen, who airmails it to McIntyre at the other end. The deposit off the bank, 4-2. The Bay State Conference rivals going neck and neck in this one, tied at 30 at halftime. In the third quarter, Red Hawks running quickly. Claire Graziano with the give, go, and drive for two. Nadek leading it by five. Good press by the Rockets near the end of the third, but Nadek able to advance the ball and get it eventually to McKenna Range, who drains a shot just inside the three-point arc. 12 points on the game for Range. Closing moments of the third, Nadek's inside presence takes control sophomore Brenna McDonald with the deuce. 46-40 Redhawks with the lead heading to the fourth quarter. In that final frame, Clem's three is going to be off the mark, but Julia Evans there for the rebound and the putback. Needham cuts the deficit to five. Then off the inbound pass, McIntyre steals the ball and scores a quick hoop to make it a three-point game. And the Rockets moving the rock around well again. Jansen drives and draws two defenders, leaving Evans open for two more for six points, all coming in the fourth. Then some more good ball movement for Needham. Clem is going to lose it briefly in the corner, but hits another one from downtown. She had 10 points in the game. Nadek, though, takes control. Range from the far corner, nails the three this time. Red Hawks pulling away as the game winds down. Grunberg on the run. She's going to miss this layup, but McDonald with the offensive board and the hoop. Game high, 21 points for McDonald. Double-digit rebounds as well. Natick wins at 65-55. Needham losing another to Newton North on Valentine's Day to fall to 11-6 on the season. Staying on the court, Needham versus Newton North boys hoops is always one of the most anticipated matchups in the state. Add the fact that both teams are top 10 teams in Massachusetts and Thomas Shaughnessy and Ethan Wright are both headed to play for Division I universities, and that makes this game a must-see. Tigers handed the Rockets their first loss of the season at the end of January, and Needham surely wanted to get revenge. Now, this game starts off with a moment of silence observed in memory of the two high school students lost in that tragic event over the weekends. First quarter, Shaughnessy to Jack Crookshank to Will Dorian. Right here, a driving basket. And one, A2 Rockets in the early going. Later, it's Dorian with the pass down low to Michael Clem. Right here for a nice layup. Newton North at the other end is going to miss. But Brandon Monheimer there to clean it up. Nice rebound up to Shaughnessy who goes coast to coast and gives Needham a five point lead. Later, the Rockets weaving the ball around their own end again. This time it's Monheimer who's gonna pass it but eventually get the ball back and take a three-pointer that's going to find the bottom of the net. Needham's lead up to eight. They ended up on the quarter on a 9-2 run to take a 19-9 lead after one. North cuts into that lead in the second. Cameron Shanefeld with the bucket and makes it a 21-16 game. Rockets respond with 2-1. Shaughnessy stops, spins, and nails the J. Another 10-point lead for Needham. They keep it going thanks to Shaughnessy. A three from the top of the key. Come in just a moment. Yeah, right there. Bang! 33-19 your score. Thomas exploding with 12 points in the second, carving up the Tiger D with this drive for two more of his 17 first half points. Needham takes a 40-24 lead to halftime and a 51-38 lead after three quarters. In the fourth, Shaughnessy with another impressive move, but this time at the end, he's actually gonna dish it to John Donovan who banks it home for the dose. Tigers on the comeback trail though. Ezra Pemstein from long range finds the bottom of the net to cut the Rockets' lead to seven right there. Then, Newton North fast break. Aaron Cooley is eventually going to dish it to Ethan Wright. 
who misses the turnaround J, but Cooley is there for the putback. 10 of Cooley's team high, 18 points coming in the fourth, just over two minutes to go, and Newton North calls on right, and this time he delivers from downtown. Three of his 14 points to make it just a four-point Needham lead. Rockets with the perfect response. Get it to Thomas. He's going to hit from three-point range. Four of seven from long range in the game for Shaughnessy. 28 total points to lead all scorers. Closing moments, Clem is going to seal this one with a steal. And he takes it in for the slam dunk. Rockets shoot a perfect 50% from the field and win it 64-57. Needham improves to 14-2 on the season.